Today I'm Luke from Drifter and we're back in the dot shed again to have a look at a new trailer we've just finished. Now this is going to be called the Dot 6 Equip. Uh, the Equip is short for Equipment Trailer. Okay, so as you can see it doesn't have the tent on top, it's got a riff rack. So yeah, we'll call the Dot 6 Equip. Um, we'll also be doing a Dot 5 Equip and let's go have a look. So that's it there, it's going to go to Darwin um, in a couple of days time. It's based on the Dot 6 chassis, okay, so it's a 6 foot trailer there. Now the main difference is, is we've gone a little bit higher in the canopy, so this is about 120 mils higher than the standard canopy, and also you can see we've boxed it out to do uh, to be a, a, a box shape at the top, so it's nice and square. Um, so that gives a lot more internal space, and um, we've got a rhino rack on the top here, that's a rhino roof rack. Um, Pretty much the front end here is fairly standard in terms of uh, we've got the battery, the electrics inside, we've got a BC DC charger from Red Arc, um, but we don't have we don't have the actuators. Now you could easily you could easily put a rooftop pen on here, we'll get up top and have a look in a sec. Um, you know, you can see the height there. If we were going to put a rooftop tent, you know, a smaller one or your own tent, then uh, that'd be fine. It's going to be above head high. We've got two awnings on here. Uh, this is one of our standard new Drifter 2x2.5. So it's 2 metres this way, it comes out 2.5. So you can put this on the side of your vehicle as well. That's on the side here. And we've got our standard dot, uh, it's called the ERV 180 degree awning on the back. So that's our standard dot awning that comes around 180 degrees and that will match up with this one. I'll show you that in a sec. Now in the back here, we can put anything, you know, a few different options, but this one's got our standard dot fridge box package still. Okay, so I've got a big storage box there, room for lots of gear. We've got our drawers in the front. On these two, you've got a really nice area on the back here. You can tie gear down. We've got two tie down points here. A, a large area of space there, which is great. And we've also got, on this one, the uh, fridge box package still. Okay. So, yeah, now you can combine this with an Oz tent, any sort of tent. You could put a small uh, a rooftop tent or any rooftop tent on there as well. That rooftop tent could fold out that way if you wanted to. But um, as an equipment trailer, you know, if you're going, uh, you know, out, out in the bush, out in the desert for three, four, five weeks, you know, many times you need more than just a vehicle to be able to carry fuel, food, and water. And this is the sort of trailer that would do that for you. You've got plenty of room for all your gear, nice and light. This trailer itself, as it is now, is uh, about 620 kilograms. So nice and light. Um, and there's a load of storage as well. You've got all the canopy, both sides. Okay. Um, there's a light here on both sides as well, two stage light. You can see how much room you've got in there. On this version here, we've got these side panels. Uh, carpeted with a with a ply board carpeted so we can the customer can uh, screw you know screw bits on there and of course our divider and our marine carpet in the middle yeah so this is for um, the bloke Dale Bennett up in Darwin he's uh, very excited about getting this trailer and um, yeah it's going to be on the truck tomorrow and on its way up there so Dale's been great you know he's uh, put a lot of had a lot of input into the trailer in terms of what he wanted and we've been able to design it and build it just right. So with those changes we've talked about. We might just jump up on the ladder and we can have a look down on top uh, to see how nice it looks from there. Okay, so we'll jump up top here. As you can see that's a standard Rhino roof rack uh, just to fit exactly the right size and you can combine all sorts of storage options up here um, with the Rhino racks. We've made special brackets so it fits on the top of our our, uh, our rack ourselves, so we've still got our bars on top here, uh, so it's fully supported. It's not sitting just directly on top of the box, okay? It's got our rack on there, and um, you know, you can get up here very easily and uh, tie your tent on, your Oz tent, or your gear. You can put a rooftop bag in there, it gives lots of options. Now, the other thing as well, once we get this awning out the back here and out the side, you're going to get a big area of space there under cover. Now one of the reasons we've gone the two separate awnings is a little bit more flexibility, but the other thing is with our new rapid wings we've been showing you on the videos earlier, 
they're two and a half metres long, so that awning would stick a fair way out in front. We can't get it made shorter than two and a half metres long, so it just sort of sticks out too far in front. So with the two separate ones, it does you know, a similar effect, and um, it does give a bit more flexibility as well. Right, we'll set the awnings up and we can show you what it looks like. Okay, you can see there we've folded out both awnings, the 2x2.5 two and the rear 180 degree awning. So we've made a join together as well and that gives lots of coverage underneath. And uh, so now we've got walls to get in here, we've got walls on the other side there as well, so you can enclose, this one comes with three walls, one, two and three, you can get the fourth one if you need to as well, so you could enclose this area you're in. Um, yeah, anyway, come down and we'll have a look underneath. Okay, now you can see it's a good height as well, um, with the spring over axle and this little bit higher uh, canopy, we've just got a good height here where we can uh, still get under quite well. And I'm six foot exactly high, so um, plenty of coverage again. It gets a similar sort of area as our standard dot six. By the time you fold out your rooftop tent and the awning, this is a similar area under cover as our standard dot. Um, we've got a kitchen out the back here, plenty of living space, and it uh, just doesn't have the tent. It's one of the main differences. But uh, you know, if people still want to have their own tent, it's a really nice package. So yeah, we're going to call it the dot six equip. Um, we'll have a price shortly on the website and a spec sheet. Uh, they're made right here in the factory and you know for many people this will be a really nice option. Alright, thanks very much. Okay, while we're here as well, we might as well go and say good day to the boys and see what they're up to. Hey you going fellas? Good. Yeah, so where are we up to here? Uh, just doing the water, cooking all the water up. Just finished wiring all the tail lights and stuff up. Yep. So this is uh, the one going to Indonesia, is it? Yep. Yeah, right. When do you reckon we'll be finished this? Uh, probably Monday, so Thursday. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, pretty much you can see, come on this side. This is what, uh, we'll be selling this shortly on the web as an option, which will be a dot six base, it'll be called, uh, which is just the trailer itself. Then you can option with a water tank. Um, you can option with a, a flat top with the bars on top. You know, but you know, we've got the dot seven base, we'll also have the dot five and the dot six base as well, which will be similar to that. Um, yeah, so looking really good. A lot of people going for the army coloured look. Um, it's sort of becoming a trademark fairly quickly, this style. Um, you know, with the matte black and the uh, drab olive, you know, just a nice little package. So um, yeah, you know, we're pumping the trails out now. Um, we're doing, you know, one and a half a week. We've got about eight to ten weeks backlog at the moment of trailers. So we've got about 15, 16 on the books. We're sending them all over the place, Indonesia, New Zealand, um, you know, in every state in Australia. So yeah, they're going really well. All right, so uh, we might duck in and have a look next door. Great, thank you. Yeah, so here's another one we're doing. We'll be spraying this tomorrow. You can see how it's been rubbed back. Uh, have a close look at that. We've just got to blow it down, but this is, we spent a lot of time rubbing this down, um, cleaning it up, and uh, you know, it's a big job doing that. It's two boys, takes you know, a couple of hours at least to uh, clean that up, ready for spraying. So we put a lot of effort into that. This one's a dot seven. Uh, this is what we call a dot seven base. You're just gonna have a removable top. Okay, so we've got a checker plate aluminium top on here, and that'll actually, it'll be tied down with over center latches. It's got tie rails on the side here. Okay, so this will be tied down, tie rails on the side. Um, it's got a, you know, a cage goes over the top, or bars over the top. Uh, the customer's gonna put a boat in there, other things on top, and um, yeah, so that one's nearly finished. This one here is our standard, this will be a standard dot six. Um, just getting the sides on, and uh, yeah, so this is Ethan, he's, uh, he's been with us for a while now as well, yeah. and um, yeah, this has been working on my truck the last couple of days, so uh, 
I got a new rear bar on my, on my truck and uh, it's come out from Canada. Had a little bit of trouble getting it on, making it fit, and uh, Ethan's been doing that, so want to go have a quick look? Yeah. Yeah, so big change to the 76. Um, we've taken the standard cruiser bar off. Um, this is from Cruising Off Road over in Canada, and it's a beautiful bar. Um, I, I love the features on it. It's just, you know, they, you can't get the 76 in, in America. You can't buy this, this vehicle. And, um, you know, the best four drive ever made, and they decided to make it illegal. So we've had a little bit of trouble getting it to fit, but, you know, um, Ethan's a fully qualified as a bodybuilder. Yeah, automotive vehicle bodybuilder. Yeah, so it's been brilliant here with Dodd. He's helping Andrew out a lot of the fit outs and uh, you know, aluminium work. He can basically build the whole Dodd on, on his own if needed and his experience has been brilliant for us. So, you know, um, the good thing with this is uh, it's only got one latch and that's right here. You can see that. Now some of the other bars on the market, you've got to you know, get right down underneath here for a large over saddle latch on both of them and do the same for clothes. Now once that one's open, ooh. now once that one's open, we can then pull this one open as well. There's no latch on that one. So that one there holds is closed. So I really like that feature. So to close them up, just push that one. And this one's on a, on a slam latch. And that's it, really easy. So, you know, as far as I know, you can't buy that sort of bar in Australia with that type of lap system. Um, also, I really like these big recovery points on the back. There's two of them there. And we can have a standard hitch in here as well. So, you know, um, we've left our standard hitch on underneath here. And I really like also the big sidebars, a bit of protection. So, yeah, it's been a project. We've had to make some mods, but um, you know, Ethan's uh, fabricated this box up here, so it's a double jerry can box. And uh, what we've got, we're doing some products upstairs. This is in the upholstery room. Andrew's mum Jenny's making us some uh, some rubbish bags to go in here, so a vinyl bag that goes in the re in, in here. Uh, often you don't need two jerry cans, but it's very handy to have a rubbish bag in the back. I've never really liked the rubbish bag in the back of the tyre, you know. They're quite handy, but I guess myself, I, you know, it looks a bit messy and I, I lose my big drifter sort of wheel cover as well. So I've got a really nice, neat little rubbish bag goes in here. And also a canvas one can go here, which we can use for recovery gear. So we'll be showing you those a little bit later. This one's got a ladder as well, so we'll be able to step up there. And, um, you know, we've still got to do some mods on that yet as well. Anyway, quick look at the, um, the rear bar. We'll show you that when it's finished. And um, yeah, no worries.